morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Well, I thought today might be the last day, but uh, the big reveal probably won't be until the next episode. And it'll probably be just a short episode. So that's basically all I'm going to want to do, is just do the big reveal. It won't take that long to do a flyby all around the ship. i got to figure out how to be able to slide my camera along on this cloth. <laughs> well, what's, what's happening is I, I'm getting glue spots on the cloth, so i got these little tiny hard lumps. And I'll be trying to smoothly slide the camera on, the, on its base around on this cloth, and it'll come up to a little bump, and it <laughs> kind of spoils the effect. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, um, we had a nice sunrise this morning. I haven't uh, noticed if Don and Bridget went by. I know I, I forgot about it yesterday. I, yesterday's episode, I took way more footage than I thought. I didn't realize it was so long. I had not done an edit like I normally do. Normally what I do is I shoot a scene or two, and then I'll go in the back room and I'll put it in the computer and I'll, I'll add it to the timeline and check it over and stuff like that. Yesterday I didn't do anything like that until the final edit. The, and I was shocked to find out that I had about 35 minutes of stuff and I didn't know what to cut out. Uh, and, and I was kind of running out of time, so I just left it all in. <laughs> yeah, you know how to work your fast forward button, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, so the, I'll try and remember about the sunrise this morning. That actually looks like it might be really nice. It hasn't come up yet. It's... Uh, it's due to come up any minute, actually, so we'll see how it goes. I'll, I will try to remember, and I'll stop talking about it right now. Now, about this part, the J29. Well, one, one of the viewers showed me where that goes. <laughs> we'll be doing that too later. Uh, okay, uh, oh, funny thing. Yesterday when I was... Uh, uh, looking at doing my uh, my final edit and I was proofing it, I saw what I thought was another little ball of blue tack, And it was sort of sitting on top of one of the railings. And I thought, well, that's funny. I didn't notice that. So this morning when I came and I, I looked over the side where I thought I saw it, and <laughs> what it was was a, 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 little, uh, a little spotlight that had been mounted on the railing. Well, yeah, when you know what it is, then it's obvious, right? Okay, uh... We have very few pieces left to put on. All of these pieces go on except for one of these guns here. We've got an extra one of those, I think. Um, otherwise, everything everything has to go down yet. I think I'll just quickly start putting them in place. Uh, I have not yet decided about the aircraft. Am I going to angle the, the, the catapult slightly out over into the wind? <laughs> I guess if there's no flags flying, you can't tell what direction the wind is from. Yeah, I think most of you know you always take it, try and take your aircraft off into the wind if you can, because that makes your ground speed a lot slower for the same effect to get off the ground. Anyway, enough little details that you don't need to hear. Um, yeah, I, I got I to gotta watch now that I'm not going to be getting a call. Did, did I mention I might be getting a call at, at uh, around 9 o'clock to drive somebody to the hospital this morning? Or did I just think about it a lot? <laughs> yeah, so uh, that might sort of interrupt things a little bit here. But to you, it won't make any difference. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, the video is going to come out at uh, uh, 5 p.m. Winnipeg time regardless, all being well. At least it has regularly now for going on five years, right? That's worked out pretty good. Uh, okay, uh, let's let's recompose here and get some parts down. I think everything here, or a lot of everything, yeah, pretty much everything here, I've already done on camera yesterday. So uh, let's uh, just go ahead and get the rest of the guns mounted in place here. And uh, when we get to the catapults at the back, well, then I'll drag the camera over and we'll fumble through that. I haven't tried them yet, so I'm hoping that they're going to mount on the catapult good. There's, there's little holes, I believe, or, so, or pins. Yeah, there's little little pins in the bottom of the floats. And uh, at first, when I first saw them, I, I didn't know what those were. I thought, that's a funny place to have, like, what what are those nanoids? Oh, that's the pegs for the catapult. Anyway, let's get at it here. I have a tendency to just run off at the mouth. Uh, 
what do they call it? Motor mouth or something? Anyway, let's get at it. Hey Google. Set reminder for 10.55 a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay, tomorrow at 10.55 a.m. What's the title? Watch Peter's live show, Oz Scale Modeling. All right, I'll remind you tomorrow at 10.55 a.m. Okay, I guess I'll be watching all scale modeling. <laughs> anyway, now hopefully I'll be on time. Okay, I'm sitting here in front of the computer right now doing some editing and I suddenly remembered I was going to tell you about the J29. I almost forgot and I think this is probably about the best place to insert it. Well, there's no good place, I guess. Uh, well, or maybe there's no bad place, let's put it that way. Anyway, thanks to Richard, we now know that the J29 goes on the Missouri. So I, I checked it out after I, I read his comment and uh, sure enough, uh, the Missouri manual has it, uh, whereas the Iowa manual does not. Problem solved. Okay, all the guns are down now. And uh, I'll show them to you when we have the reveal. Uh, I angled some of them and some of them were straight, you know, in, in line with the keel and, you know. Um, anyway, you'll, you'll see them in the reveal, probably in tomorrow's episode. Or maybe I should say the next episode. We'll see how it goes. There might be an extra. Now, let's very carefully pick this up. Maybe I better grab it by the tail here. All right. Now this one that has no propeller, I'm going to put on the far side. We're, we're going to be looking at this side here. And um, so the one that has the propeller, I went closest to the glass. So we'll, we'll put it right here. You can see these two little holes here. Well, it matches up with two little holes in the bottom of the float. Um, yeah, not, not too much to keep it from being broken off. I'm not sure yet uh, what kind of angle they're going to be at. Now, being as that the edge of this uh, hull is going to be right close, probably only about a quarter of an inch from the glass, uh, I can't have the catapult swung out too far, but I'd like to have them swung out a little bit if possible uh, so that the, the life rafts, the Carly floats, are going to show. Otherwise, they're basically covered up. You don't don't see them there. Um, so I guess maybe th this one could be swung out this way. Well, well, we'll wait out until after we get it on. Now, the thought had been, and more than one person suggested this, uh, cut a little disc the same diameter as the propeller, uh, and uh, like a little clear disc, and put it on to give the illusion of the propeller spinning. But I, I just uh, I just felt that made it look too, you might say, toy-like, kind of like a uh, a die-cast metal airplane that a kid used to get back in the 50s. You know, used to have that sort of thing on it. And I just I, I would sooner not to have anything on there at all. The thought had been that maybe I could have it mounted out here and have the <clears throat> catapult have it swung over so that the <clears throat> excuse me the propeller would be oh Ron careful. Uh, right underneath the the uh, the crane here, as though it had just been removed. But uh, anyway, uh, I, I don't think so. I think we'll just put it on and may, maybe maybe swing it away out. Oh, another thing I want to do is uh, put Gabe's one two hundred scale figures on on here. Now is a good time to do it. So don't want to forget to do that. And then I guess after they're they're on, it's done. Anyway, let's let's recompose here. Get this maybe a little bit closer to me here, so that I can uh, get at it easier. And uh, I'm I might have you at a bit of a bad angle, but I'll do the best I can, and we'll see if we can glue the bottom of the float down right there. Okay, I want to do a bit of a dry run here and just see how these uh, pegs are going to match up in the holes. And. Uh, I'm going to have to maybe hold on to this with tweezers here somewhere. Maybe that's going to work. Just steady myself here. Now 
these uh, pegs don't seem to be the right spacing to me. Or maybe maybe it's just the way my eyes are. Well, let's uh, let's uh, put fill some uh, put some extra thin on, in the holes here. We'll soften the paint. Now it looks like the the entire float is going to be have to handle this so carefully here. Now it looks like the most of most of the bottom of the float is going to be touching the the uh, catapult. I can't work and talk at the same time. Okay, let's try this again now. Very, very carefully. Very carefully. Try and get myself down here. No, nope, that's not working. I want to be able to let go of it afterwards. Now it is not going to balance there, unfortunately. It is not going to balance there. I don't think I've got it in the holes. All right, maybe I'm going to have to take this catapult off and do it off camera. Well, didn't break anything. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to take it off. I'm sorry, folks. Okay, I think I can hold it like right here. Just have to be careful I don't shove my thumb up into the railing. Maybe right here is better. And then I can put my finger underneath right there like that. That, that might work. Okay, now yeah, now I can I can see the where the pegs go a lot better. But as I mentioned, they they do not seem to be lining up. They don't seem to line up, so I'm just gonna have to eyeball it straight. Cause oh no, no I'm wrong. They they did lock in place, sort of. Well, not really. Okay, now I want to have this so that when once it's no, I don't think I can let go of it. Well, maybe I can let go of it. I wonder if I could angle this at just the right angle so that gravity is my friend here. It's going to want to sort of lean forward. Um, oh. Okay, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to lay this down. I wonder if. See, it's not going to want to stay straight. Though. That's the problem. Okay, it's it's locked in place there right now. Um, would I be able to put it back up onto the <coughs> onto the uh, onto the uh, kingpin, if you know what I mean, on the ship, and then I could see when it is straight. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna recompose here. I think I'm gonna try that. Okay, I pretty much got it there. 
and uh, I'm just using Gabe's container to hold the wing from slumping over and I'm thinking that probably in about an hour or so, maybe less, uh, that should be dry enough that it'll stay there all by itself. And as near as I can tell here, this, this is f basically down flush on the, uh, on the mounting uh, platform there. Um, okay, now if I can do the same on the other side, get it off here without breaking something. I should maybe enlarge the hole. Yeah, I think maybe that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enlarge the hole on this so that it'll slip down into place a lot, a lot better. So it almost seems to lock in there and okay I'll fix it now yesterday when I got back from the funeral it was still bright and sunny and the Sun was fairly high in the sky at least for this time of year and I thought you know I've got at least an hour that I can go out and have a nice bike ride and I was thinking about you know when I'd been out the day before yesterday it was, it was actually not too bad at all now, I knew it was feeling a little bit cold, but hey, it's probably going to feel the same, right? Anyway, I get on my bike and I go, oh, I'm only about half as far as <laughs> I went yesterday. And I realized, boy, it, I'm getting really cold here. And I, I'm not enjoying this at all. So I turn around and I come back. And uh, yeah, when I get back, I go into the house. And the first thing I do is I go to the thermometer and I look at it. Minus two Celsius. <laughs> I should have checked the thermometer before I left. Well, you know, I probably would have gone out anyway, but I would have been f feeling a lot better about having to turn around and come back early. Uh, we'll see what happens today. It, it, today is probably going to be much the same as yesterday. I just won't go out very far. I'll just, uh, uh, you know, I guess you, uh, you might say I want to keep my sea legs uh, working, so uh, <laughs> uh, I guess they're called bicycle legs. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just go out for just a little bit. Try and keep going as long as I can this year. Okay, remember about three years ago somebody sent me this? I don't very often get a chance to use it because it's usually it's usually too big. Now it might be too small. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's too small. <laughs> well, uh, okay, I'll, I'll find a drill bit. Okay. As luck would have it, I think this one is pretty much the right size. Just sort of ream out the... the uh, paint. Just make it just slightly bigger. That's probably all it's going to take. I suppose I could try it. What did I do with it? I hope I didn't set something on it, no? Oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a lot, a lot easier to get in and out. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do this other one off camera. Hurry up and get it done. It's getting on here. What do we got? It's going on for one already. Okay, I do believe I've got it here. Um, I think now might be a real good time to go and do some editing. Okay, our little planes are on. And they are on as good as they're going to get unless I accidentally break something off but I don't think I will. And uh, now, about our little 1-200 scale sailor guys. Okay. Doesn't want to come out. He's stuck in there. Okay. Well, there's Looks like there's four of them all together. And 
There we go. Um, now, I don't think it would be a good idea. Just be very, very careful here. i got to pick these up in such a way that I don't break anything. Although, although Gabe did say that this stuff was fairly strong. Now, I, I don't think it's a good idea to have one just standing out in the deck all by itself. I'd like to have it up against something. Um, boy, that really gives you the, the perspective of the size, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, I'd like to have it up against something, like maybe up against a turret or up against a, uh, a hatchway or something like that, and yet in such a place that it's going to be uh, really visible. Um, I'm trying very hard to pick these up very gently. Okay, I, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them, but it's, they've got to be down before the big reveal because I want them to be in it. So uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, it's a uh, quarter after two already. I could go at it a little bit more, but really there's not a whole lot left to show you except uh, when I do my uh, flyby with the camera. Um, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do about these yet. If I'm going to angle them or not. Well, as I mentioned, this one I can't have it angled too far out because it'll bump against the, the glass, which is going to go just probably a quarter of an inch this side of this ladder here. We are almost done. The only thing left is the uh, is the uh, flyby. Uh, everything else is down. Everything else is down. Unbelievable! It, it, it's finally here. Um, okay, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, oh, there's the sunrise is next. It's it's nothing special. Um, nothing special. Uh, just nice. I like the music. It's one of my favorites. Okay, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.